Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Now, it looks like the hurricane season is trying to wake up. There are some signs that we're going to see a lot of development later this month. I did that a few videos ago when I did my August outlook, and I want to show you the steering conditions for this month. Very important. It looks like what develops may not necessarily may uh, just go out to sea. So let me track what's going on now. Here's the Caribbean. Look at this big blob, another tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa. So there is some action. Now, here's the deal. Several tropical waves. They have been weakening though as they approach the Caribbean. That's because of the dry air we've been talking about. They've had trouble developing and that's that's a good thing. We could use some rain of course in many spots but again we do not want a hurricane. We get a look out here though. These couple waves here may kind of get things going. It may help get this uh, atmosphere a little bit in the way of uh, adding more moisture to it, kind of kick out some of the dry air. So this could be the start of what's to come late August. These bigger tropical waves come coming off and then eventually developing. And speaking of that, that's what I want to break down. What's been going on is we've had this very dry air near Africa and in the Central Atlantic. That's been a good thing. That's been uh, preventing these things from developing. But as we go forward in time now and all the way through the end of the month, this area looks to have a lot more moisture, less uh, dry air. So if the big tropical waves kind of hang together, they'll work their way closer to land. And with that, the environment is conducive for some development. So that's one of the concerns. The second concern is the steering conditions. High pressure is very much locked in. All you need to know about that is it's like a fence. It's locked in right here. So what develops, be it tropical storms or hurricanes or even strong tropical waves, may not be able to escape. Then we've got a, a trough that will be building across the uh, United States. Every now and then you see these fronts kind of dipping by. So what's going to happen is the highest threat areas will be the east coast of the United States, back through Florida, in through the Bahamas, and back through the rest of the northeastern Caribbean. Because what develops won't be able to escape because high pressure is there. And then with a trough back toward the United States, that will allow a little bit of a curve. So again, the highest threat areas later this month would be against southeastern United States through the northeastern Caribbean. And again, not allowing things to just simply kick out to sea like we've seen so far this time of year. On top of the added moisture again in the atmosphere, closer to home, the water temperatures, they are boiling, not literally, but they are they are very, very warm. Water temperatures 30, 31 degrees Celsius. We've seen water temperatures upwards of around 95 degrees Fahrenheit out there in parts of the Gulf of Mexico, watching over toward the Florida Keys. It is super warm. It's always warm this time of year. It is summer, but again, this is abnormally warm stuff. These numbers are well above average. So again, atmospheric conditions more favorable. We've got that water that is favorable for development down the road and an area of high pressure that may prevent things from just simply getting out to sea. It is the busiest time of the year on average anyway, August, September, and October, 84% of all named storms happen in the next three months. So really just getting started with hurricane season. And you see the trends as we go throughout the uh, month. The peak of the season is September 10th. So again, August, September, into October, even early November uh, was busy last year. So again, lots of the bulk of the hurricane season, most of the hurricane season is really ahead of us. So I'm watching this very closely. Nothing alarming now, but again, the setup doesn't look it doesn't look great as we get into uh, later this month. Now, here's the big picture of what's going on. So here's Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, St. Lucia, Barbados, Antigua and Barbuda, watching these strong tropical waves. Now, in yesterday's video, I was talking about that flood threat increasing for the Caribbean. I see that happening this week, watching these waves coming in. Look at all this moisture building. This is by Tuesday, and as we go out on time, late Tuesday, but Wednesday and Thursday in particular, that's when we're going to see the flood threat increase with a strong tropical wave moving in. I'm not quite seeing development out of it, which is good, and most of the models not picking up in development in the short term, but look at this potential of rain working in. This would be later on Wednesday, so Wednesday into Thursday, that flood threat is going to get higher. Just what I was talking about yesterday, uh, it's all kind of uh, coming, uh, uh, you're seeing it here again in the models, it's all coming to, uh, together as we work forward into late in the week, then we'll watch that strong tropical wave. And again, at this point, 
Nothing is really showing signs of development, but the atmosphere is a little more conducive to development. So I'm going to keep an eye on this uh, as we get into the end of the week. We'll be watching out for some rain moving through the Caribbean. And with that, I'll keep an eye out for any signs of development, Belize, Jamaica, down the road as this tropical wave moves in. I'll be watching it very carefully for you. Right now, we've had some rain near Haiti and uh, Jamaica over toward uh, Jock Mel, Boston Blue. We had a little bit of the uh, rain and storms last night. As we go throughout the day today, as I mentioned yesterday, scattered showers and storms will be possible. I see a little bit of green on the map here. So again, passing shower storm will be a possibility. Keeping an eye on that. Uh, could always see isolated flooding, but I'm not seeing anything widespread as we go throughout the day today. Again, this is Sunday at 5 o'clock. So let's move forward. I'll break it down as we work our way into Monday. Tomorrow, you see again, still some scattered showers and storms. Costa Rica, Panama watching that. Passing showers and storms. Trinidad and Tobago, Dominica, Guadalupe, Montserrat, we could get a hit or miss shower. We've had a couple near Antigua and Barbuda, even and Anguilla yesterday. We need some rain in the Northeast uh, Caribbean. We just don't want any big tropical system moving in. Then look at this. Look what happens as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday. Let me stop the clock here on Tuesday. I showed you the bigger picture earlier. There's all the moisture building. Okay, so this is what works in Wednesday for some of us. And as we get closer in time or closer to this rain working in, I'll be fine tuning it for you and breaking down the, uh, the flood threats. Again, every island matters, big or small, covering everything. Everybody matters when it comes to the weather. And I'll be watching this very carefully, watching out for the flood threat because that rain you're seeing there just to the east of the Caribbean will start to work in Wednesday and Thursday. Then we've got action out here. Look at Dora. This is Eugene. Eugene flared up uh, as we get into the uh, southern Baja, southern Peninsula. Again, we're going to be watching out for some gusty winds out of this. It is a tropical storm. That is Eugene. And again, Dora, once again, uh, they fluctuate. These systems kind of breathe. It got stronger yesterday. Here's Dora. And again, everything I've been showing over the last week or so has been keeping this down to the south. Still a developed system. Kind of alarming for Hawaii in the sense that it is still going to be so strong, but more of a pass to the south on this. And then we get back to Eugene. And as expected, what I've been talking about the last few days, it'll kind of hook away. But again, southern uh, peninsula. We'll have some gustier winds, of course, those higher seas with this. But as we get down the road, here's the modeling on this and everything in good agreement. And you see the models here. This is why uh, I don't love these models being just kind of splashed around all the time because that looks threatening for, for California, for example. But what's going to happen, like I just showed you on the track, is we're going to see weakening. So as this pulls off more to the west, it is going to weaken and fall apart and then kind of drift its way back to the coast. And eventually, again, south of Hawaii, there will be a weakening phase with Dora. Keeping an eye on both of those, though, uh, again, two active systems in the uh, Pacific, eastern Pacific right now. Dora and Eugene, any changes with those, I'll be on top of that and I'll let you know. Now, as we get to the forecast, again, I'm thinking ahead as well, Wednesday and Thursday with that storm chance picking up, but watching out for scattered showers and storms today in Barbados and St. Lucia, about a 50 to 60% chance the next couple days. Midweek, though, that's when that flood threat will be getting higher. Uh, Wednesday in particular, or some of that moving into the Eastern Caribbean. Jamaica, we've already had a few spotty showers and storms around, at least nearby. Keep me posted in the comments isolated showers and storms today. Same thing in Belize. And again, Jamaica, Cayman Island, Belize, always keeping an eye on Cuba. Uh, I'm going to watch this tropical wave progress, the bigger one, later in the week to see if it wants to uh, develop at all. Trinidad and Tobago, rain chance 40% today, 50% chance tomorrow. And again, this strong tropical wave will enhance the chance of rain in Trinidad uh, both Wednesday and Thursday. And again, the ground is saturated in spots because of the flooding last weekend. So watching that, Grenada, isolated shower shower storm today, tomorrow, 30% chance. Isolated shower storm. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, 30% chance for today and tomorrow. Cayman Islands keeping it isolated as well. And again, watching late in the week for the potential more rain. Some passing showers and storms possible in the uh, Bahamas. A couple spotty showers around right now. Turks and Caicos, rain chance 30% the next two days, up to a 40% chance on Tuesday. Rain chance will get higher later this week. Dominica watching out for some rain and storms again. Dominica, Marnique, Guadalupe, like St. Lucia, Barbados, that flood threat will get higher Wednesday into Thursday. 50% chance of rain today, Guadalupe, Martinique. And as we get back through Puerto Rico, 
watching out for the afternoon storm. Still hot, of course, but again, some afternoon scattered storms will be possible as we go over the next few days. Holding at about a 30% chance, U.S. and British Virgin Islands. 50% chance today in the Dominican Republic. Again, mainly late day, watching out for some of those kind of heating from the day type of storms. Had some rain around last night, very early this morning in Haiti. Rain chance 30% today, a bit higher Monday and Tuesday. We're going to be back up to a 50% chance. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat isolated, but watch Watching Wednesday and Thursday as that rain chance grows. Antigua, Barbuda, about a 20 to 30 percent chance over the next two to three days. And again, Antigua, Barbuda, Anguilla, Montserrat, as I showed you, St. Kitts and Nevis, watching again Wednesday and Thursday for that higher chance of rain. 30 percent chance today, St. Martin, Saba, and Stasia. And as we get over toward Curacao, Aruba, uh, Bonaire, mainly dry the next couple days. But if this tropical wave can hang together, that would at least give us a chance of some rain potentially Thursday into Friday. Watching that because we have been super dry across the ABC Islands. Rain chance gradually going up as we get over toward Costa Rica, even Nicaragua. Guyana, rain chance today 40%. And we get back through Suriname. Rain chance for the next two days at 30%, about a 40% chance by Tuesday. Northern Venezuela keeping it at about a 30% chance. So getting busier, no major threats. Now the biggest threat in the short term will be that flood potential midweek. So watching that, Eastern Caribbean, some areas of heavy rain midweek. Please, please stay tuned. Share this channel with others. Thank you for subscribing. Stronger tropical waves continue to emerge from the coast of Africa. And I showed you how we're going to watch out for development later this month and how the steering conditions may not just let things escape. So I'll be on top of it for you. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of your day.